Hello, it's Adair Palmer here and uh, it's Wednesday so I'm doing live video straight into the Adelaide Suburbs Small Business Networking Group because I can and because we're allowed to and because Wednesday is live video day. What I saw, I've been out and about today, I've been hanging out with Fiona and Anita and we've done some really cool some networking and done some brainstorming and come up some really good ideas about how to help more people uh, than what we're currently helping and uh, do some really cool stuff in the community that's going to bring people together. Watch this space because it's going to be uh, quite an interesting um, ride to see how this develops and pans out. So I can't say any more at the moment, but it's going to be exciting. It is already exciting. What I wanted to talk to you about now, Mari Smith, I've just got here... Um, I'm just looking at my computer. Mari has just posted. I've just got home and, and got hooked back in to my beloved Facebook. Oh, my God, that's a bit sad when you say it like that. But anyway, uh, it's saying my connection is weak. So I'm hoping that you, even if it's pixelated, you can hear me okay. But what I'm, um, what, what the news are, <laughs> my granddaughter's here. This is the beauty of working from home. I've got a house full of people. So I'm, I'm hiding in the girl cave. <laughs> And I don't think it's working because they know where the girl cave is. But anyway, uh, what I'm doing and what I've wanted to share with you is Mari Smith. She must be out because she's in San Diego. Or she, she's in Boston. She was in Boston, but now she's in sat back in home, her home in San Diego. But what she's done is she's just posted uh, just about more nearly an hour ago uh, an update um, uh, around some really exciting stuff that's happening with um, the audiences that we can look at the insights and uh, through the ads manager. Now, those of you who have done ads in the past, this is going to be, because I'm all about engagement and promoting your page and that type of thing, but I'm thinking that this is actually going to, I'll read through and I'll t share with you what she's talking about in a minute. But what I'm thinking is it's going to have some implications in about the, the sorts of the, how we go about um, doing things like Monday Promo and if you're in my group, social media for small biz owners, how we do the Super Saturday. If you're not in that group, by the way, just feel free to uh, pop over and, and say hi. It's uh, social media for small biz owners. It's B-I-Z owners. And uh, you can... Um, hang out with me here and over there as well um, uh, or alternatively you can pop over to my page which again is social media for small biz owners and uh, download the free biz page health checklist which you can use to do a checklist on your own page to see that your page is actually up to speed and what you're doing really well and what you can improve on Back to Mari's information, her exciting news that she's obviously up at some stupid o'clock in the morning in San Diego to post. She's saying the new page engagement custom audience feature in Ads Manager. Now, what this means is that you can create specific audiences and use, if you're into doing ads, Facebook ads, and I'm actually at the moment not quite ready to help people in a paid capacity to do ads because I'm still doing an advanced Facebook ads course myself. And until I get it nailed, I'm not happy to share that information. So, but if you are looking to do ads, I can certainly refer you to people who, who can help you in the interim. Now, let's have a look. You can create these specific audiences and use in your ad targeting people who visited your page regardless of the action they took, people who engage with any post or ad, including all reactions, shares, comments, likes, clicks, and carousel swipes, or carousel swipes. So if you've got those carousels on your page, like the slideshow thing that people can flick across, um, they, if they've just flicked through them, then that's actually going to be um, something that uh, that Facebook actually captures that data for you now. People who clicked any available call to action on your page. So you'll be able to retarget or target market your ads to these people as well. People who send a message to your page. Now, uh, <laughs> she's got here, jackpot, love this one. 
Now, one of the things uh, that I've been encouraging people to do, and Mari is um, saying as well, she's been saying for a while, be sure to get encourage people to message you on your page. You can't message people first, but you can respond when they message you. Hey, who's a... I can't see. I see there's a couple of people watching, and I'm I'm wondering if that's Steve. I can't actually see, but you can <laughs> like it. All these likes, bring it. So you can actually encourage people to message you in in your call to actions. You can ask them to message you privately. But what this means is that the more people that you get to engage with you through messenger rather than email or a phone number, which takes them out of your business page, keep them on your page, keep them in Facebook and Facebook will reward you. Yes, it is. Yes, it's here. Oh, Henry and Anita. Hi, how are you? Good to see you again, Anita. <laughs> so, just be just really think about when you're doing working your business page when you're tweaking it always the your call to action is trying to get people to communicate with you on facebook messenger on your page not your personal messenger on but the the messenger on your page this cannot be stressed enough some people do promote the importance of using your profile as a premium way of connecting with people through uh, through as a business through facebook I'm actually going to go as far as to say as that is it that absolutely is not effective. Your most effective page now. Who did that, Henry? If you sent me, sent me a big smiley face, call one back at you. So, so what I'm going to suggest is always look to your business page first. Use your business page as your your means of communication, and when you do that, you share back to your personal profile so people can see that it's come from your business page and if you can get people on your back veranda then your your business page is actually going to benefit in the long run because whoever's on your business page can then um can then see you as a, like they'll, they'll come up in their personal uh, in your personal profile that those people who may not be on your business page will also see your business page if they're not connected to you on your business page. Is that making sense? Give me a thumbs up if it's making sense. I'm talking, I'm babbling because I'm so excited about this. I will just breathe, okay? This stuff is awesome. Business page, business page, business page. Sure, use your, your personal profile, but use your business page as as your platform, as your central platform. It's Your personal profile is the critical one in and out of Facebook, but your business page is actually going to get you uh, uh, your business a lot more exposure. And now, now you can actually get the stats in Ads Manager of who's been to your page, who's liked your page, who's engaged with any posts. My my phone's just going to go boom in a minute. People who've saved your page from any post from any other page. So it's saying people who might not engage with your page that much, but they might be stealth ones or they might save posts or they might share posts other people's content so if you're putting good content on your page and other people are sharing it they're going to hear about it too they'll be they'll be actually recorded in the back and in your ads manager uh, and you can create custom audiences from that I'm going to go because I've got a heap of people in the kitchen raiding my cupboards and someone out the door and my battery's about to go flat on my phone and I'm only halfway through what I want to get done today. Thank you for hooking in and thank you Adelaide Suburb Small Business Networking Group for letting me to go live here and share my excitement with you. Bye for now.